What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here, and today I am bringing you another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to host your own WebKit exploit page locally and use jailbreak exploits on 4.05 firmware. So if you've seen my other video on how to update to 4.05 from a lower firmware, you'll know that there is quite a lot to do on this firmware and that there are jailbreak exploits for you to use. Now, not a lot of people know actually how to do this. It's pretty simple and I thought I'd make a video for you guys. So the first method I'm going to show you is how to host the WebKit exploit page locally. Now this is quite handy indeed because a lot of these sites and DNSs are getting taken down from Sony. So they're not always going to be up and you can't always use them obviously if they've been taken down. So alternative is using the local server. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the description below and download Python. Now you can use any version but I like to use Python version 2.714 as I've used this for a while and it works for me. Obviously choose the version that is suitable for you. I'm just going to choose the 64-bit MSI installer. Once we have Python downloaded, we can go ahead and install this. Click next, next again, leave the default location. And if it asks to overwrite files, simply click yes. And then on this screen, you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom where it says add python.exe to path. Click on the little drop down arrow and click on will be installed on local hard drive. Now this is very important as the script might not work for you otherwise. And so make sure that you do this step as it's quite crucial. Click on next and now now the Python will install. Once we have Python installed, we're going to go ahead in the description below once again and download the PS4 exploit host. And this will basically allow us to run it locally on our network. Now there are a couple of versions here, Linux and Windows. So I'm obviously on Windows, so I'm going to be choosing the PS4 exploit host dash win version 3.12. Go ahead and click on it and save it to your desired location. Now what I'm going to do is simply extract it. Now we can open the directory and inside of there is another directory now we have a bunch of files in here but the main one we're going to be looking at is obviously the application now in order for the application to work you're going to need to free up port 53 and 80 now there are a lot of programs on your PC that may be using these ports so be careful with that and obviously if it doesn't work then you can try downloading Wireshark or maybe some other networking tools to see if your port is being used but this uses HTTP ports and it's probably going to be used already if it isn't then you can obviously use this so if we double click on the application, you can see here that I'm okay. But obviously if you get an error and it says that the port is in use, then you'll have to try and find out what is using it and then kill the process in order to use the program. I just thought I'd point that out because I know that Skype and a few other programs on my computer actually use port 53 and 80. So again, try and kill the process on your PC that is using port 53 and port 80. So if you've opened the application and you have a screen like this, that means you have been successful. The next thing you're going to want to do is use a payload now i'm going to be using as an example the debug settings for 4.05 so inside of the payloads directory this is where you're going to put all of the different payloads i'm just going to be showing you one as an example in this video again debug settings on the playstation 4 but you can put any payload that you want in here once you have the payload inside of the directory we can go ahead and go back to the application so as you can see our dns ip is our local ip address on our actual computer so mine ends in 0.26 so now all we're going to want to do now is head over to our PlayStation, go over to settings, go down to network, set up internet connection, and I'm going to be using Wi-Fi for this. And then you're going to want to select custom, then obviously your internet provider, and then your password. IP address settings can be automatic, DHCP hostname do not specify. And when you get to the DNS settings tab, you're going to want to select manual. Now under primary DNS, we're simply going to type in the DNS that it gives us on the EXE. So mine again ends in 0.26. So whatever it shows you on the application, simply type this in here. Once we have the primary DNS set, the secondary DNS can be blank. We don't need this at all. Simply click next, MTU settings as automatic, and then do not use for the proxy server. When you get to this screen, you can test your connection if you want, but I'm just going to press circle. So I know it will definitely work. Now from here, all you're going to want to do is scroll up to the top of settings and hit on users guide. You should now see the PS4 exploit host menu. Now at this current point in time, Time, there are two major exploits, one by IDC and one by Spectre. I believe the Spectre one hangs on the page and looks like it's loading but doesn't do anything, but you can still actually send payloads.
loads that way. I just like to use IDC as I prefer the layout and you can see sort of what's going on. Once I hit this page, you can see at the top of the PlayStation that is trying to load and on the actual application itself, we now have a payload menu. So you get three options, not to send a payload, integrated FTP UART debug settings. And we also have the third option, which is the full debug settings, which is inside of the payloads folder. And that is the one that I placed in there. So I'm going to simply type in free and hit enter. And you can see that it sent it, connected to PS4 and then payload sent. Send another payload, I'm just gonna say no. And then it will take us back to the other screen. Now on the PlayStation 4, you will get an exit code zero error. This is completely fine. Simply scroll to the bottom and hit on close internet browser. If you don't get that page pop up, then simply press the PlayStation button on your controller and make sure you do that as pressing circle will not work. Now, if you scroll to the very bottom of the page, you can now see we have access to the debug settings on version 4.05. And just to clarify, I will show you by going into system, system information, and as you can see, system software firmware is 4.05. Now, the second method I'm going to be showing you is pretty much the exact same thing. And if you're not able to host the exploit on your computer and you have errors, then that's perfectly fine. You can use a public DNS that someone is hosting on their website or server, and that will work just fine. Now, I'm going to leave a couple of DNSs in the description below for you to use if you can't get this working. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that so simply go over to your settings once again go down to network set up internet connection use wi-fi or lan cable depending on what you're using custom and then it's pretty much the same process as before simply connect to your network and then we're going to be changing the dns to a public dns so when we get back to the primary dns page we're simply going to be changing it from the local one to the public one again this will be in the description below there we have it 108.61.128.158 now if this does get taken Taken down I'll try and update it in the description below or maybe update a couple depending on how many I can find now that we have the DNS set it's pretty much the exact same process simply go to the user's guide and then it will load the exploit menu there we have it exploits spectre and IDC so this is not using the local server that we have hosted on our computer this is completely separate and is connecting to a server so that is pretty much it guys I hope I've helped in a way comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one peace